Okay. In that set, starting with the second, management, 15 years ago, released Oracular Spectacular, and we've seen time to pretend. In 2019, my long, I can't even believe that it's two night, it's been two years already. Kim Shattuck of the Muffs died at 56 after a two year battle with uh, some sort of sclerosis. And we've seen the Muffs doing Weird Boy Next Door. She was the uh, best screamer of anyone I ever seen and she was well you've seen it she's very humorous to her facial expressions and not too and she wasn't too uh, hard on the eyes either okay on the same day the second 2019 Barry Masters, the singer of Eddie and the Hot Rods, died at 63. And we've seen Eddie and the Hot Rods doing do anything you want to do. And then Richard Hell was born in 1949 on the second. And we've seen Richard Hell and the Voidoids do Love Comes in Spurts. And you know when I was talking about management album Oracular Spectacular released 15 years ago I don't believe that I mentioned the first video we seen was Time to Pretend by management okay on the third Johnny Thunders and the Heartbreakers released LAMF 45 years ago and we've seen Chinese rocks off of that. Chinese rock. And moving on to the fourth. October 4th, 2014. Paul Revere of Paul Revere and the Raiders died. From 1961 to 1971, he had 15 Billboard Top 40s. And we've seen the U.S. Top 10 kicks. Alright. Also on the 4th, Bob Geldof was born in 1951. We've seen him and the Boomtown Rats doing Diamond Smiles. Also on the 4th in 1980, Killing Joe released their self-titled album. As well as Susie, released twice upon a time, the second greatest hits in 1992. Okay, but I believe Susie released that on the 5th. As well as Speak and Spell by Depeche Mode was released on the 5th, 1981. That was their first album, by the way. And Belinda Carlisle released Heaven on Earth 35 years ago. And that takes us to our next video. It was the 10th anniversary of Tame and Pala Lonerism. And we've seen Mind Mischief. And here's something interesting. Also on the 5th, The Cure in 1981 released the single Charlotte Sometimes and then 35 years ago in 19 oh just like heaven was released the single and we've seen the video for that also on the 5th in 1999 famous monsters was released by the Misfits. That was their fifth album and we seen Scream. On the sixth, 19 years ago, 
uh, Bell and Sebastian released Dear Catastrophe Waitress. Tommy Stinson was born in of the replacements, was born on the 6th of 1966. And Matthew Sweet was born in 1964. And we seen him doing girlfriend. On the 7th, 25 years ago, Steve Earl released El Corazon which brought us to our next clip 45 years ago the Runaways released their second album Waiting for the Night and we've seen the title track off of that followed by the next clip Joy Division's Transmission which was released on the 7th in 1979 and then that takes us to the 8th Public Image Limited, Don't Ask Me, was released in 1990. And we've seen the video for that. And then we've seen Gavin Friday, who turned 63, yesterday on the 8th, of the Virgin Prunes. We've seen the Virgin Prunes new Pagan Love Song. Also on the 8th, C.J. Ramon turned, or was born in 1965, and in 1980, uh, the Talking Heads 4th LP was released, Remain in Light, which brings us till today. In 1958, on this day, Eddie Cochran recorded Come On Everybody. It was a number four hit for him in 1959. And number six in the UK. And in 1979, it was a hit for the Sex Pistols. And last but not least, today, another one of my longtime crushes, PJ Harvey turns 53, and we've seen her doing Hardly Wait. And that concludes celebrity birthdays and musical history for this. On with the show.